So hello and welcome again. This is Joe from My Repair Electronics and just wanted to go over real quick about cleaning video heads. This here is one of the nicer VCRs. The Panasonic AG7350. Um, and it's been hanging around the shop for a while. Uh, doesn't have a cover on it. And so I thought we'd go over a little bit about cleaning the video head. So here, so here is a very dusty video head. And um, just want to go over how to properly clean one of these if in case you uh, own a VCR recently or not too familiar with how to clean them properly then you should follow what I'm about to show you okay so as you can see right here we have some real dirt um, I'm just gonna point from a distance with this screwdriver this is the drum the head is actually right down there where that little black space is and at no time should you ever touch that head with anything except a cleaning cloth. So I'm gonna use some of these. These are getting to be a rare commodity item these days. I'm gonna turn it with my finger here and just lightly press up against the head a little bit of pressure against the uh, the head tips. The tip right here is that little black spot on the bottom. And the upper drum needs to be cleaned as well. So we're going to just clean that. Rotate around a little bit. So you can see... I'm applying pressure on the upper drum only right now. Uh, maybe a little tricky to see. Maybe if I can move this swab. So what you want to do is simply rotate the upper drum with your left finger there as I'm doing. Uh, and that's the rotation that it spins. And just keep rotating it for a while. Keeping the nice even pressure against the drum and uh, you want to clean the entire drum but don't not move the uh, alcohol pad up and down at all just keep it stationary uh, what will happen is if you were to go in an up and down motion then uh, you can easily break off the video head tips so you don't want to do that I'm going to show you the uh, actual video head tips in a moment. Okay, so here we have a typical video head drum. This one's never been used. Okay. So here's a nice close up of the video head itself. <clears throat> so some of you might think that the, uh, the silver portion is the head it's not it's just the cylinder drum so it's just a big piece of chrome polished chrome that the heads are mounted onto and um so the head as you can see here is you know the whole red part and then the brass where the brass comes down and over to the far bottom right is those are the actual heads themselves, the, the very tips of the heads, I should say. Um, I mean, you could call the whole thing the head, but uh, the part that reads the tape is is those little uh, black pieces of carbon that are hanging off the very edge of it, glued on there. And if you look closely, you can see the individual little wire wraps are going through a tiny little hole right at the very edge towards the center and then wrapped around there a few times this is an 
incredibly intricate and very delicate work. And I uh, had never seen the machine that does it, but I imagine it must be uh, quite, quite something. As a matter of fact, if anyone else out there knows or has videotape of it, I would love to see it. Uh, put a comment down below uh, if you have anything. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, that's a video head. So you got to be really, really careful when you're cleaning it uh, not to break the little thing. A lot of work went into it. So please, respect it. And you can soak it in alcohol. I'm going to do that off camera, but I just have a little spray mister bottle. Um, it's nice, nice and soaked in uh, the alcohol. You can use regular isopropanol or 91%. It doesn't really matter. And you want to clean the guides like this. All right. And clean the, the posts. Um... I can't really do it without getting my hands in the way. But basically, just hold down with your fingers. Or with one finger. And uh, just make sure that these turn. You can grab it with your finger. And make sure you feel it rotate around. Um, and then just give it a good overall cleaning. Same with the other guides. Over here, uh, a couple more to the right, over here, anything that is going to hit the actual tape path. Over here to the left, same thing, clean these guides here, this guide here. These are all already clean, so I don't really have to go in and clean it that much. See if I can get a little more light on things. And, um, but giving you the idea, over here, there's a post. You want to clean that. You want to clean this little guide post. This is right before the full erase head. The full erase head is kind of a little bit out of camera view. You can see the lower edge of it right here. Um, and that's a magnetic head that erases the tape before it goes over to the rest of the head drum. And you can see I had quite a bit of dirt on that. There's uh, what's called an impedance uh, roller over here. Let's get the camera on that. Uh, so this is just a big brass uh, roller and all it does is it kind of stabilizes the tape as it's coming around. Uh, it doesn't really provide any guidance to it at all. It just uh, kind of keeps the, uh, the tape flat and, uh, you know, takes out any warble as you're uh, moving it along. Okay, so... We have this thing set up now. Uh, I'm going to show you how this little quote unquote head cleaner actually comes in and works. So, you, I'm about to insert the cassette. And there it is. That was the head cleaning procedure. It just bumps up against it right before it goes into play mode. And. Hit eject, and it does it again too. So this head cleaner is basically useless. You can see it, it spun around a little bit, but it didn't really, doesn't really clean the heads. It's just a cheesy piece of foam rubber and uh, doesn't have any good, good enough contact with the heads to actually uh, take any real dirt off. It may keep a little bit of some dust particles off of it, but that's about it. Uh, if you have problems with the uh, the heads being clogged, this is not going to fix it. So the best thing to do is just remove it. You can undo this clip here, 
pop it off and extract the whole thing and throw it away. Because uh, the procedure I just showed you is a thousand times better than actually attempting to rely on this to keep the heads clean. Okay, so over on the right hand side here is the control track uh, and the audio stack heads. So basically it's a, just a stack of heads um, and the actual heads are very small. They're just right here for the audio and up on top here for the control track. Another erase head that, um, and it really only does the erasing on the, on the top. It doesn't do the full erase like the uh, the full erase on the other side there um, so it, but it's pretty big and it's got a whole bunch of wires coming in again for erasing and recording uh, the control track so basically you just want to clean this I'm trying to get underneath here underneath the, the little top lip and the bottom up and down here, and then over to the side, these are right before the pin troller, or actually, uh, yeah, right before the pin troller, there's a guide, and then the capstan shaft, and the pin troller itself over here. The capstan, um, you may have to, if it's really gunked up, you may have to actually get it to move around so uh, one way of doing that is to just insert a tape and when the tape loads it's actually going to force the, the caps down to move and then exit again and you'll get you'll get a different spot along here that you can attack and eventually you just do that a few enough times where you can actually get to here get all up and down all right clean it up really good uh, may take quite a while and quite a few q-tips to get all the uh, the stuff that comes off of the pin troller uh, a lot of this material will come off onto this capstan shaft so it's pretty important that you get that nice and clean so this particular pinch roller um it's a lot easier than it looks so th this whole assembly rides on a uh, worm gear which is a little tricky to see at the moment but uh i'll show you what to do you just basically pull this little release lever here deal with that okay so the release lever is off and you can then just pull it up and out of there okay put that to the side and then you can just pull up on this whole controller assembly and there it is so this controller assembly uh, course made by Panasonic and um, has a little bit of grease there and that's for when it sits inside the uh, the worm gear over to the right here let me just show you that worm gear real quick here's the worm gear and it the uh, pin troller assembly rides up and down in this groove on the pin troller and um, when you take this off from the top, it's real important that you don't disturb the time the pin this worm gear. It's uh, got all sorts of timings associated to it between this gear and this gear. Uh, it's very important that you don't disturb that. So just uh, leave that as it is, and then pay attention to cleaning this guy. So what you want to do is grab hold of this thing with two hands, not one, but I'm 
doing this with the camera in one hand and Q-tip in the other. So just uh, grab it with both hands and wipe it down from top to bottom, side to side, however you like it. And uh, clean all around the whole thing. The shininess that you see here is called glazing. And basically this happens because from dirt that's getting pushed into the rubber from off of the tape that you play. Um, little bits of dirt get in, jammed in there and it, uh, after a few thousand hours you'll start to get all this, uh, this glazing. Uh, one way of getting rid of it is to take a scotch bright pad to it if it's really bad. Uh, you just scotch bright it all around and then clean it off with the Q-tip. Now also this centered uh, brass bushing here you want to clean that out. Uh, what happens is the lubricant after time will become very very stiff and dry and you want to clean that out with some alcohol before you uh, put it back on. Of course uh, put a little more lubricant back in the hole before you put it in. Um, I'm just doing this as a demonstration. So then as you see you uh, take this uh, whole pin controller assembly back on and turn it a little bit like this and then you can get the uh, brass uh, pushing there on top of the post slide it down and then it's seating on top of there and that's perfect you just grab the clip retaining clip that we took off before slide that back down and click it on and into place and press down make sure this is engaged again and that'll keep it all in place and that's it so that's basically clean the whole tape path right there and of course you can just after you're sure everything is dry, of course, uh, wait at least a good five to ten minutes. If you think you have any other wet spots, make sure the alcohol is completely dry. Then you can pop in your tape and uh, you'll have a picture again. So that's it on cleaning your VCR heads. This has been Joe from iRepair Electronics. Uh, get out there and fix something today.